Hello everyone and welcome to Best Side Cycling. Today we'll be exploring another section of the East Rail Trail and today we're going to start at the Virginia Mason Center here closer to Renton and it goes to Jean Coulon Park for a total of about 1.6 miles and this trail is predominantly what you see in front of you with this dirt slash loose gravel. It's really uh, easy to roll on so I think anything with 28 millimeters of wider tires you'll be completely fine and this Part of the trail like most of the east rail trails since it's based off of train tracks is completely flat so you don't have any elevation gain to worry about here and the best way to access this trail is probably from the lake washington loop trail which i also have a video on which i'll put up here and it's basically uh sort of just a continuation from that this is due to change uh excitingly in the next month as the east rail connection from renton and bellevue will be open to completion it's only part way open right now and you still need to use that detour of the Lake Washington Loop Trail. But once that's complete, you'll be able to ride from, uh, from Cold Creek, 118th in Bellevue, on nice paved wide trail all the way to here. So before we get into other topics, today was sort of also exciting because on the day I was filming and riding this trail, there happened to be a lot of local organizations that came out to just reach out to residents and users of this trail. So. Uh, one of the most notably is the East Rail Partners, which I think is one of the most uh, uh, well, one of the associations behind uh, getting all this up and running. And it was pretty neat just to connect with them and uh, learn about what's next, including the updates coming to the Wilburton uh, Trestle. So, but anyway, as you saw in the beginning of the video and what I just passed by here, um, this is the May Creek Trestle and it was actually a new addition as well. I just opened in late September, if I remember now. And uh, it's neat because before, prior to that, there was basically just this area where it was pedestrian only crossing and it was a really narrow sort of walkway. So you pretty much had to dismount. So now it can be just one continuous flow. And I'd say in terms of uh, this trail, it really shines in terms of just the recreational sort of riding. I mainly say that because um, for people doing the Lake Washington Loop, the Lake Washington Boulevard Road is right next to it and it has a marked bike lane and it's paved. So I feel like a lot of road cyclists are just prefer riding there. It's, and if you do use this trail, you will have to connect back onto the road eventually to continue on with the loop. Uh, unfortunately for now, maybe probably change in the far, uh, further future. Yeah, but this sort of abruptly ends and you'll see at the video like right before Jean Coulon Park. Um, so. Uh, feel free to ride on this, of course, uh, but it mainly is going to connect you with more local sort of addre addresses as well as the main sort of view, uh, connection point that it passes by is Kennedale Beach Park, which we'll see later in the video. Uh, but still, uh, there's a ton of trail users that you see here. I think just like families using it for fun or just walkers or joggers. And here are some other uh, local organizations as well. Um, I think Cascade Cascade Bikes was here, and some notably some others. Uh, Cascade Bikes, if you don't know them, yeah, you definitely should if you cycle around here in the Seattle area. They're just sort of the marquee Washington Bike Club, and then they host a ton of events like the Seattle or Portland, but they just have a ton of bike resources as well. And this on the right was the Cannondale uh, Beach Park that I was mentioning about earlier. So uh, that's also going to be just all along this ride, to be honest. You're going to see on your right um, on towards the west, uh, just uh, great expensive views of Lake Washington. Um, it's uh, really unique as you just ride around. If you do the Lake Washington loop, you can get a lot of different sights. But this also is one of my other favorite spots just because you get so close with such a really big view, which is surprisingly not all that common. So, but anyway, and then in terms of um, if you want to just visit this trail and use it for fun, uh, there is some parking that you can access closer towards uh, the Virginia Mason Center. So uh, right near uh, as you uh, get off the highway and then you see the Welcome to Rented sign, there's some parking lots closer to uh, the north end of this uh, trail. Other than that, you, there's probably a lot of side and street parking like you'll probably see around. So it's definitely very easy to access and I've seen a lot of ton of people use it. Um, but yeah. Uh, with the recent new updates that are to come, especially with the Wilburton trestle that I, I mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, 
eventually, in the not too far future, you'll probably be able to connect all the way from the likes of here to basically downtown Bellevue on sort of carless roads. So that's really exciting to see. And yeah, I d um, let me know down in the comments below if you've ridden this section or walked this section of the trail before and let me know your thoughts on it. But that's basically all I had for this video. So thanks so much everyone and I'll see you guys in the next one.